Hello again, this is Grant Abbott and I'm going to quickly show you how to set up PBR materials. This video is aimed at beginners with a basic knowledge of Blender and its interface. Towards the end of the video, I'll be showing you common pitfalls and mistakes, so if you're having problems, make sure you check that out. For more videos, look at gabbit.co.uk for free courses aimed at complete beginners right through to advanced levels, with new content being added regularly. See the link in the description below for more on that. So here's some PBR materials. We've got the plane, it's reacting to the light, it's got a bump, and of course it's got some color. Those are the main elements that make up PBR. So let's look at how we can set this texture up. First I'll pull out another window by clicking on these three lines and dragging them across. If you ever get stuck and make too many, remember you can click on those, drag, and get rid of the other area. So I'll pull that out again, and I'll change this to the node editor down here in the bottom corner. I've set up my screencast keys here so you know what I'm clicking. So I've just come out of rendered mode. You can do that by clicking on solid and render here. Or you can press shift Z as a shortcut. So I've selected my plane and I'm going to change the material. Let's create a new material for it. Of course you must make sure your object is unwrapped for this to work. In order to do that, the quick way is to go into edit mode with tab or select edit mode down here. Press U and smart UV project. That's the quick way to do it. If you need to learn more about unwrapping, then click on the card in the corner now. So with my object unwrapped, I've created a new material and I'm going to set up my PBR. If I click on the diffuse and press Shift S, that will allow me to change the shader. The other way, of course, is to just delete it by pressing delete and Shift A to add shader. And we're going to add the principal shader. You can also add down here in the menu. I'm gonna hook that up, move these across. And now I need to bring my PBR texture in. A great place to get free PBR textures is from polygon.com. I'll put a link in the description. I'll also put some other links to other sites in the description as well. The one I'm using is from Polygon. Here's one I downloaded from Polygon. Usually they come in packages like this or similar. There's two color variations. There's a gloss and there's a normal. That's all I'm going to look at today. There are other aspects to PBR, but these are the most important. So what I'm going to do is drag those in. First the color the gloss and then the normal. Close that down. Now the color is straightforward, goes into the color. Let's press Shift Z on our viewport to see what that looks like. And there you can see it's added the color as long as you've unwrapped your plane and we've kept it to color data. There's no bump or difference in the reflections. I've got a light in here which will help us to see that. So let's add the reflections. Now if you remember this was called plaster gloss and we're using a roughness. Gloss is the opposite of roughness. Therefore, we need to invert this. If I add it in now, it will make it very glossy. But this is a plastered wall, remember. So I need to invert, and to do that, I need to add an invert node. So Shift A to add color invert. And then I can plonk it over my noodle, and it will connect. And you can see instantly it goes rougher, but not all over the place. The other thing you need to remember is to change this to non-color data. It doesn't make a huge amount of difference to this one, but it will to this one. So let's change that now, non-color data. They're not using the color data in the same way as the albedo, so we make sure it's non-color data. Lastly, the normal map. We can't plug this straight into the normal. We need to add, shift A, a vector normal map. And we can then add the color and the normal to the normal. And that will create some bumpiness, which you can now start to see around the light. One common mistake is not unwrapping your object. The second one is not having any light in your scene. I've got this light and I've also got an HDR background. If I show you the HDR background by going to my render tab and unticking the transparent under film, you can see I've got an HDR which is lighting my scene. In order to do that, you go to the world tab in the node editor and add an environment texture. And you can download the images from places like HDR Haven. Then just hook that up and it will be in the background. If you want it to be transparent, click on the transparent in the film section. So there we go, that's PBR materials, quick setup. Remember, color, gloss or roughness. If it's gloss, you need an invert and the normals. And they need to go into the normal map before going into the principled BSDF. Hope that helps. And remember, gabbit.co.uk for free courses aimed at complete beginners through to advanced levels. Links are in the description. And please comment, let me know any problems you have. I do respond to pretty much all the comments. Thanks for watching.